All right, what is going on, ladies and gents? Randy here, RTS Mobile Gaming, bringing you an amazing video today. We are playing the Lord of the Rings Rise to War. And in this video, we are covering the Alchemist Balance Changes, okay? Many people, uh, in fact, a wave of outrage, uh, outrageous uh, people uh, just attacked everybody after these changes came out. However, I am here to tell you that these changes are actually fantastic, so let's talk about why, okay? Let's get into it. So first things first, the Alchemist had their damage reduced from 17 to 14, their max end damage, and their bottom end damage increased from 1 to 4. This brought their damage range into a tighter range. The average damage is still 9, but the bottom damage is significantly higher, okay? So what does this do, ladies and gentlemen? Well, this does uh, a number of things, okay? First, this is going to reduce the maximum damage output that the Alchemist can deal, since, as we know, through their burn abilities, they are able to deal 300% of their damage as burn, which means having a max damage of 14 is going to give them 42 max damage output compared to the uh, 51 max damage output per unit that it previously was, okay? Um, and because of that, uh, obviously their top end damage has been reduced by approximately 17%, okay? Their bottom damage was increased significantly. It's up 400% from 1 to 4. Uh, so that was a nice change there, which means you're no longer going to be getting 5,000 damage rolls with 5,000 alchemists. You'll be getting better rolls uh, than that for sure. So it's brought up the minimum, which is extremely, extremely nice. Now, the reasons why I say this is a much needed change, there are two reasons, okay? The first reason is because with uh, commanders like my Witch King that uses one of the three different accessories uh, that give you the opportune strike, uh, they are able to deal absolutely enormous damage as the alchemists make their max damage roll every turn, okay? Gothmog also provides this through his respect level 3 talent tree. He gives them a chance to roll maximum damage 60% of the time, okay? So, if you're running Gothmog or you're running an extremely geared Witch King or Kamul, you will definitely see a 17% reduced damage output when you roll your max damage, okay? For every other player in the game who enjoys using Alchemists, this is an enormous buff, okay? Because if you do not have a 3-star or better, and that is a 3-star or better, okay? I can't circle things with my finger. If you don't have a 3-star or better accessory with Opportune Strike, or you don't use Gothmog, um, the plus attack stat is now enormously more valuable, okay? Uh, and a damage ratio, just as your top end was reduced by 17%, the actual impact of plus damage has been increased by 17%, okay? So having pieces of equipment that give you this fantastic plus 3 attack is now massively more valuable, which brings into question how valuable is the Orthanx Devilry uh, or the Opportune Strike buff in general, okay? If you are able to use an accessory that gives you plus three attack as well as damage to your units, uh, then you are going to gain actually uh, more value time weighted over 10 rounds than if you're using an Orthranx Devilry that gives you less than 50% opportune strike, okay? So just, direct, uh, just to clarify that, if you are using a three star or better uh, Orthanx Devilry with the opportune strike, three refinement or better, it will be still the best in slot, but if you don't have one that is three stars and better, it's actually not the best in slot. Uh, so this will be a massive change for the average player, for the medium player that doesn't have a three star, three refinement gold accessory. If you have the purple Drums of Moria, which I absolutely love for many of my commanders, uh, these are going to be one of the new best in slots. There's also, uh, I believe, I don't have it on this particular count, but there is also an accessory, an orb, that you can use uh, that gives you plus melee attack and damage, and that will actually be on par with the Orthanx Devilry uh, with the proc, okay? So, important to note there, you will now get 17% more benefit from using the plus 3 attack on the accessory and the weapon, okay? Obviously, the helmet here, the Berserker's Gaze, is still going to be one of the best in slot because it gives plus attack to your Urukai on a helm piece. Uh, so definitely uh, be using be using one of those, okay? So, that is the video. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Let me show you the report. I didn't even show you the report. 
I'm over here talking my head off. I, you didn't even get to see the Witch King's damage. Here's the Witch King's actual damage coming out hot. Uh, we'll look against this Arwen. You know what? Let's go whatever my max is here. Let's go against Cleed's Mouth of Sauron. That's going to be rough. <laughs> I want to find you a good report where I just completely smashed through someone's face. Let's look at the damage output. Another freaking Mouth of Sauron. They're everywhere today. They're everywhere. Here is a good report. Get excited, okay? So let's take a look at the maximum alchemist damage. Okay, I did not trigger Orthanx Devilry here. Uh, I still triggered a 52,000 damage hit with my alchemist, right? Oops. I've got, uh, what do I got? A total of uh, 6,200 alchemists coming in hot. Let's take a look at round two and see if I triggered my buffs in round two. Okay, here in round two, I did, in round two, I did increase my alchemist damage to 19 with the opportune strike. So I still dealt 131,000 damage. That's one, three, one K. I was still able to deal 131,000 damage with the alchemists, even after being nerfed. So they still are fantastic damage dealers, but my top end has been reduced from about 80K down to the 65K, okay? All right, that's enough. You've seen enough. I'm gonna leave you alone. I love you a long time. Brandy out.